I just wanted to come on today to do a little video about some of the equipment I use at home, um, having no hand function, and how like I can make my home workouts a little bit easier for myself and certain things that I use. Um, I've just done a training session, so I'm quite hot, sprayed myself with water. Um, but I just wanted to show you these. So, not sure if any of you know about these gloves. These are called Active Hands, um, and these are a great piece of equipment for anyone with um, less hand function, um, you know, even quite good hand function but just weak. Um, you can do loads of th with these. These are really versatile. You can use them to lift weights, uh, pull bands, um, all different band exercises. I'll show you a band later on that I use also. Um, but dumbbells also, to be honest, you could just use them for holding, if you don't even have dumbbells at home, holding you know, water bottles to do weights with or cans or anything that you've got in the house really. So I'm just gonna show you how I put them on. So you open the Velcro strap at the bottom. They're really good because the guys that make them have put ring pulls on the bottom there. So you can just hip hook your thumb in, open them up. This is left hand. So you can slide your hand through. Then you grab the ring pull with your other hand. Do it up really nice and tight around your wrist at the bottom. Then you use that little black bit there. You open up this. And then you put whatever you want to hold through your palm of your hand, like you would do. And then lift the plastic up. And then you can push this through here with a dumbbell or, you know, like I say, anything you've got. And then you push that through, hook your thumb through again, pull it nice and tight, and then you've got a good grip on whatever you're holding. And that's how you work the active hands. Um, they're really good for everything. You can also use them for gardening, cooking, anything you want around your house as well as fitness stuff. So that's a great bit of equipment I wanted to show you if you don't know what they are. They've got a website, um, Active Hands, they're all online. Rob Smith who makes them is a great guy. Um, then I've also wanted to show you to do my weights on a bench and also just in the chair if I'm doing any pulling um, strength exercises. I tend to use one of these because it gives a little bit of flex, but it still holds me. It's an LP binder support. You can literally buy these on Amazon, eBay, anywhere online. Um, just put in LP body support or lumbar support and it will come up. Um, we use these at rugby also. So you can get onto a bench and then you can put this around the bench and your body and it can hold you still. Or you can put it all the way around your chair and around yourself while you do some rows or anything like that. So I just wanted to show you that, that I use. I also have some boxing gloves. They're just regular boxing gloves like anybody would use. Um, these are Max ones, I got them online. But again, these are a great piece of equipment we can use to box and get some good cardio in with someone's help to hold the pad. While we're at home, you know, you can just open the Velcro and slide your hand in. You've only got to get your thumb into there. But again, great piece of workout kit to use at home um, for people with less hand function. And then finally, I use these bands. So these bands I found on eBay. Again, you can probably find them anywhere online. I would just type in um, resistant bands with handles um, and they've got this handle on. So they're really good. So I clip them onto a door frame generally. And then rather than having to always get my active hands out, you can hook them around your hand and you can do, I'll just put my brakes on and show you, but you can do, all sorts of exercises for instance like triceps pushes you can also use them to stretch out um, use your pecs and things like that if you move further away um, use them for all sorts of things with your shoulders they're really really good and then you can just hook them around your hand like that and they're pretty stable you don't need to always put the active hands on um, so they're another great piece of equipment to use at home and then finally, I just wanted to show you this bed I had made. So this is what I've been using at home to stretch on. Um, I got it made by a local carpenter and I bought the gymnastics mats online. These are B mats. You can get anyone, just type in gymnastic mats. And he made the bed to the size of this, it's six by four. Um, just out of wood, but it's really solid. Same height as my chair, easy to transfer onto and you can stretch on there 
lay your hips, lay prone on your front so you can stretch, you know, all your hips, all your hip flexors, everything that would normally be stretched when you're standing and we can't do. So, um, yeah, I thought I'd show you that if anyone ever had any space to get one made up. Obviously, you need a bit of room or a room to put it in. Um, but it only co it cost around £300 and it's a great piece of equipment for stretching and to help us get out of this chair position, which we are always sat in. Um, so I hope those few things can give you some tips and ideas to keep moving at home in these strange times where we can't train together. <laughs>